Fox, Chicago. All right, 724 right now, financial strategist Matthew Sapala is here to get us caught up on what's going on with the economy and to give us five steps if you're fiscally fearful, which a lot of people are right now. You hear a lot of people kind of tightening the belts, not spending a lot of money, but you're going to help us out with this. First of all, focus on your financial fundamentals. What do you mean by that? People need to establish three types of accounts, short-term, mid-term, and long-term accounts. A uh, quick way to do that is develop what we call a laser test, which stands for liquidity, safety, and rate of return. Mm. If you put your money in something, it goes through many filters. Number one, can I access my money when I need it? Number two, is it relatively safe once it's there? And number three, will it earn a competitive rate of return as it's growing and compounding, and will it maintain purchasing power uh, down the road? Is there anything safe right now to kind of invest your money in? <laughs> <laughs> there, exactly. There, there, there is. The only thing to fear is fear itself. Uh, our economy is, is fairly strong. There's there's a lot of wonder uh, um, about what's happening. But yet, short answer to that, absolutely, there's very much very safe accounts. It out seems there. like a lot of financial strategists have to be psychologists these <laughs> days as well. When you talk to your clients, to kind Rub of them on their back, yeah, exactly. pull them off the ledge there. Number two, you say create a plan to keep your cool. Easier I mean, said than done, honestly. Exactly. <laughs> One of the things is we create a system, which is another acronym for save yourself time, energy, and money. Without a financial system, we end up panicking. Uh, for example, if you didn't have a financial system and you panicked and you sold your real estate the wrong month or you sold your shares in your 401k at the wrong, the wrong day, you in essence locked in your losses. So you're really looking long term for this sort of thing. You want to have that long term plan. S stimulate your own economy. This is one of my biggest pet peeves. Instead of waiting for what president will be elected, what the mayor, or what the alderman can do, we can stop sitting on our assets, so to speak, and create our own stimulus package. One big pet peeve for me is receiving that large tax refund at the end of the year. That's, in essence, an overpayment of taxes. You see, what we can do is adjust our withholdings with our HR department to increase our take-home pay and redirect those savings into our, redirect the difference into our own savings and investments. That's mm. good, because then you can keep your own money and pay it later, right? That's correct. Uh, set it and forget it. What do you mean? One of the great things about the information age is uh, online banking. Uh, leveraging technologies, you know, they always tell you you can automate and pay your bills. Well, the same thing can happen too with your savings and investments. If you have in your mind that you're going to live on 80% of the, your, your paycheck, that's your lifestyle. You can accumulate money in accounts very quickly, very rapidly by automating your banking account to saving to savings and investments uh, without you having to touch it. So you don't even see it, you kind of forget about that's it. That's right. So the idea, decide then do? Believe you can and you're halfway there. Uh, many people are on that ledge. You said on that ledge. We're counseling the, uh, people to get, you know, progressively um, decisive. One of the greatest lessons we can teach our kids is to step out in faith and in confidence, and that's how you overcome a lot of your fears. Because you end up asking better questions along the ways you grow and prosper. All right, Matthew Sapala, uh, president of Matthew Sapala Incorporated. You also have a radio show, correct? Sure, Living the American Dream, AM 560. All right, very good. And when is that on? It's on Sundays from 10 a.m. to 11 a.m. All right, Matthew, thanks for coming in this morning. Matthew's also on, on Facebook as well. <laughs> as so is Jan. <laughs> Coming up, another they shooting. They need you as friends. <laughs> They're all right. right. Coming up, another shooting threat on a college campus, this time at the University of Illinois. And a big honor for A.